Hey, what's up? My name is Ryan Hunter, and I play in a band called Envy on the Coast. I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Long Island, New York, and this is my story. Uh, about five or six years ago, my grandmother was diagnosed with breast cancer and uh, she was about 83, 84 years old at the time. So um, to avoid the risk of it threatening her life, she decided to go through with a double mastectomy. And uh, it was a really scary time because you know, any time that someone that old is in the hospital and undergoing procedures that extensive, it gets scary. But she made it through. She's the toughest lady I've probably ever met in my life and a huge inspiration to me. So. Uh, we're really happy that she did make it through. Um, fortunately, a couple of years later, um, actually probably about a year and a half later, my mother was also diagnosed with breast cancer uh, while I was in college with Sal. Um, and that was extremely scary because my mom is a, a lot younger and obviously extremely close to me as my grandma is. And um, she kind of at first hid it from us um, tried to deal with it on her own. She didn't want anybody to worry about it, but um, it obviously kind of snowballed and became a, a huge issue within our family because we all had to kind of pull together and pick up the slack because she was going through so much. Uh, once again, in her scenario, she wanted to avoid um, the risk of it spreading to her other breasts, so she decided to have a double mastectomy as well. Um, and it was, it was an extremely scary scenario to see my mother in a hospital bed in such a weak state because I never really see her like that. I, my mom's the type of person that you never really ever see sit down or stop. She's just going all the time and moving all the time. So it was, it was frightening to see her so debilitated, but she's a tough lady just like my grandmother and she, she made it through. Um, after everything that, we, that I went through with that, we, um, our band went on a, a tour through Alternative Press, the first ever Alternative Press tour, and um, met a nice young lady named Erica Lighty. And one night, we stayed up late talking about all sorts of stuff, and she told me about the organization that, that she works for called Keep Abreast. And immediately, I was super stoked to get involved and to do anything to help out the organization because it hits so close to home, and told the dudes about it. And uh, yeah, since, since that day, we've just been doing anything we can to help out the, the organization in any way that we can, whether it be wearing these shirts everywhere all the time <laughs> and living in them and just spreading the word about the organization. So that's my story. <laughs>